My name is Olivia Blinger and I read Desperation. My name is Dalton Cayley and I read The Green Mile. And my name is Allie Christian and I read Black House and all of our books were written by Stephen King. Stephen King started his writing career in 1967 with the book Carrie, which was published in 1974. In most of his books, he writes so the reader can connect to a specific innocent character. Stephen King was known for writing weird and twisted things. He used foreshadowing, suspense, and conflict to get his message across. And he also used metaphors and symbols to convey his themes. Another part of Stephen King's books is he also puts characters inside the story that go through a psychological change because of the events in the story. When King was two years old, his father left the family, so his mom had to raise him. As a child, King witnessed one of his friends being struck and killed by a train. He recalls nothing of this incident, but his parents say that he came back in shock. Because of these two experiences he had in his life, it may have influenced the darker aspects of his writing. I'm Dalton, and I read The Green Mile. John Coffey gets put in prison for murdering and raping two little girls. Uh, John goes to the Green Mile, which is where you wait to be executed. Uh, he has a special power of cleansing people of the bad that's in them. He uses his powers to heal Paul, which is the guard and executioner. Uh, he has a urinary tract infection, and John fixes that. Uh, John Coffey has the same initials as Jesus Christ, which brings in the religion theme. Uh, he heals people of the bad or sin and ends up getting killed, even though he's innocent. Uh, one of the evil guards that tortures one of the convicts, Edouard Delacroix, uh, kills his mouse and John brings back to life. Uh, it's the same guard who tortures Edouard Delacroix by uh, not wetting the sponge when he's getting executed. His name's Percy Wetmore. Uh, it cooks him to death slowly instead of just getting it over with. The book that I read for the project is called Black House. And the main plot of the story, it takes place in a town called French Landing. And there is a child cannibal on the loose, and they call him the fisherman. And there's a small police force that they can't get a handle on the situation with the fisherman. And so they have to call in a retired LA police detective, and his name is Jack Sawyer. And he's the main character of the story. And while multiple children are still getting captured and eaten, Jack is receiving clues from a distant world that he used to travel in. And only a few people can travel in this world, but Jack is one of the few people that can, and he calls it the territories. And so these clues help him gain information about the fisherman case. And with the help of his blind friend, Henry, but Henry is very intelligent. Like, he can sense things about people, and he's not even, like, he can't see them, but he can still sense how they're feeling and like, by their tone of voice and stuff. And there's also a motorcycle gang called the Thunder Five, and they help solve clues, and um, basically they serve as protection for them because nobody wants to be around a motorcycle gang, so they're in there for protection. And so they help Jack solve the mystery. The name Black House comes in because the fishermen previously built the Black House in the woods a long time ago and that is like the root of all evil. Like that's where all the evil comes from. That's where he takes the children and stuff like that. And so Jack and the motorcycle gang and Henry and the police, they have to go to Black House and save another child called Tyler Marshall who is taken there. Well, Tyler is actually a special character in the book because um, in the territories there's a man named Mr. Munchun and he's kind of like the evil character in all of this. And Tyler is important to him, and so they're trying to save Tyler before the fisherman actually kills him. And so, um, pretty much the book is just them trying to save Tyler, but it's definitely exciting. It will keep you on your toes throughout the whole book. All right, the themes in my book are death, and also there is supernatural events involved. And also the idea of people coming together against overwhelming odds to defeat like the evil, I guess, in my book. And um, there's a lot of dying in my book and death and people are sad, but in the end there's always lessons that are learned from dying. And also the supernatural is involved because the fisherman has Black House. And Black House is kind of like paranormal magic, like an evil house and supernatural. And that also goes along with the territories, like that's a different world. And so, you know, of course that's supernatural when the fisherman goes there. Alright, so anyway, the last thing in my book, how people come together, 
Jack, the police force, the Thunder Five, and like all of Tyler's family and friends, they have to come together and defeat Black House, which like seems overwhelming to start with, but because they're all working together, they're able to go through Black House and like defeat Mr. Munchen so they can save Tyler in the end. My book Desperation was written by Stephen King, and it's a horror novel about groups of travelers who are going through an old town desperation. And when they're going through desperation, they meet a police officer, Kali, who was taken over by an evil spirit tack. The book has a theme, evil versus good, evil being the evil spirit tack, and good being two of the tourists, one, David Carver, a young boy who is God-loving, and another being Johnny, an old writer who is trying to find his place in the world. The tack takes over bodies, not only so that way he has a place to go, but also so that way he can kill people. And the group of travelers are trying to escape tack throughout the book, but they are also being given signals through, from God through David. David was given powers by God, and he was being told through God, basically, that they were not supposed to leave the town and that they were supposed to fight off this tack and put him back to his resting place. Most of the group that was with David, including his dad, kind of thought that David wanted to stay in desperation just so that way they could maybe rescue his mom because David's mom was actually taken by tack. But then some of them also were believing that David was being sent signs from God. One of the people, Johnny, the other good one, was having a hard time believing that they were supposed to stay. Johnny had his faith brought back to him through David. The themes in this book were good versus evil, supernatural, religion, and death. The death theme was evident in this book when Kali and the other people who were taken over by Tack began killing things and people. Religion is seen in the book when David Carver is given God's powers and signs through God. The good versus evil theme is shown throughout the whole entire book when the good people, the good travelers, are trying to fight off tack, which is the evil. And the supernatural theme is when we are told about tack, who is a spirit who has come up from another dimension. Alright, Stephen King's books are still relevant today because he's still writing books and people still enjoy a scary read by him. Stephen King's books are sometimes also written in modern day perspective and so that makes it interesting for read readers too. Stephen King started his writing career in 1637. Sixteen thirty-seven. Jeez. Stephanie, want him to use some of this new adult stuff and that stuff. Oh my God! Oh my God! Like, I mean, is it like zoomed in really close and like you're just looking at my You nose? can like see right here. Like, he's known for like writing weird, weird and twisted things and he used metaphors. <laughs> he used metaphors and symbols to command the theme. Like, go like, Hi, I'm know? Paul. <laughs> <laughs> no sense. Oh, Grandma, you always were so funny. <laughs> What are you doing? Okay. What are you looking at? Allie, it's right there! <laughs> okay, you ready, Allie?